Hello there, Ethan here and welcome to The Wanted Man's House, which is a horror game I found on Itch.io. I have no idea what it's about. Going into it blind as I always do. Let's get into it. Again, I don't know what it's about. I'm going in blind. I assume it's a wanted man and his house. That's weird. The person talking is called Ethan. Hey mom, are you sure you're going to do this? What if the killer finds you? What? I will, man. Don't call your mom, man. Imagine how famous I'll be with the footage. I'll lock it all and put it all in the city paper. Cool. But if that's your choice, be careful. I heard the police are already looking for him at this house. Good luck. Thank you, Ethan. Wait, am I the mom? Well, then don't call your son, man. Either way, don't don't use the word man when talking to a family member. <laughs> So I guess my mom's going in. WASD to walk, shift to run, I for inventory, left mouse button to interact. Find Babyface's house. Sounds delightful. Oh, the sprint isn't really a sprint, that's fine. Why am I in some sort of maze? Actually, I'm in a maze, okay. Uh, okay, we'll go on this way. It won't let me go the other way. Oh, I see a house. But this is a male's voice. I don't understand. Maybe I'm not my mum, maybe I'm me. Searching some cupboards. Don't like how long that takes. Oh my god. Alright, prepare yourself for some reading. Jesus. Found a diary page. September 3rd, 1977. Today should have been like any other day. The sun shone high in the sky and happiness seemed to dance on every corner. I had an ordinary life. A loving wife and an adorable daughter. Little Annie was light of my eyes. And Melissa, my wife, was my safe haven. However, fate, often cruel, decided to turn my existence into a nightmare. He fell victim to an indescribable tragedy, an accident, they said, a mistake, they claimed. But to me, it was a death sentence imposed by, on me by unknown hands. Annie, so innocent and full of life, was taken from me. Melissa, my great love, was also ripped from this world in a way so abrupt and unjust. There were no explanations, no apologies, just the darkness of loss. This is delightful reading. I tried to understand, I sought answers in the tears that insisted on falling, in the screams that echoed in the emptiness of my soul, and then anger took hold of me, a rage that burned like fire, consuming everything that remained of my peace. They were not criminals aware of their deeds, they were just strangers, people who crossed our paths without realising how much they took with them, but to me they became the architects of my misfortune, the ones responsible for hurting my world turning my world into an abyss of despair. Society tried to move on, ignoring the pain it carried in its bosom. All right. But I could not do the same. The desire for justice turned into an insatiable thirst for revenge. Hatred became my only companion. Today I looked in the mirror and can hardly recognise the face staring back at me. The man I once was has been erased by the flames of suffering. Now only the shadow of a devastated father, a shattered husband, remains. Ready to make the world feel the same pain that was imposed on me. And so I became something else. Not a man, but a ruthless force seeking justice in the only language the world seems to understand. That of violence. Their cries will be the soundtrack of my redemption, and their blood will be the ink that writes my name on the pages of history. It's very hard to read this while the VHS effect is going. May darkness embrace me, for I am... What the light cannot illuminate, the mask I wear is a mask of my suffering, and each breath it muffles is a reminder of what I have lost. I hope there's no more diary entries. There's definitely going to be. Ah, 
Nothing in there, that's nice. It's good to know. Okay. We'll leave that door. Unsafe stairs. We go right cropper down then. Right. That's just a toilet, that's fine. Well, something's behind this door because I can't interact with it. Delightful. Search items. There's nothing. Search items. Basement key. I'm not sure I want to go in the basement, but sure. Let's do it. Is this not the basement door? I've got the key. Excuse me. How do I... Is that not the basement? Is it going to be like a cellar door outside? What's going on here? Oh, another key. Basement key? What? So there's two basement keys. I guess there's another door in the basement. Let's close that door. Key hot. Well, this says it's different now. Okay, now we need the basement key. I'm definitely going to get chased at some point. I'm not looking forward to it. Everything's dark, delightful. Why is there a, why is there a code there? I can't interact with it. Don't like the look of that. That one's locked. That one's nailed. Okay, I guess we're going in the one I don't like. Well, this is horrible. Uh, mannequin bitch. Search items. There is nothing. Oh. Then there's nothing for... Oh, a crowbar. Ah, so I can get the wood off that door. Can I also randomly hit the mannequin with it? No. Cool. Back we go. I've got a long ass thumb, I don't like that. It's horrible. Right, so there's a bed down here. So someone's been sleeping down here. And now I'm mooching around their belongings. Anything on the shelves? I swear it's going to make me run away from someone. I've got to remember where I've gone. And it's not going to go well. Hello? A locker, but I can't hide in it. Ventilation grate, okay. I'm supposed to do something with this? Have I still got my crowbar? No. See. Well then, I'm not entirely sure what you want me to do. Is 
Is there anything on the shelves I've missed? Oh, another room with another bed. Lockpick, all right. I don't know which door to, there's lots of locked doors. I don't know which one you want me to use it on. Can I use it on a ventilation shaft? Vent, not shaft. Can I use it on every door? Or is it a one-time thing? One-time thing, okay. Jesus! The talking is very quiet. I'd better get out of here. It's a rat. Okay, so now's the point where I'm going to get chased. It better not be by that mannequin. Alright. Let's run to my death, shall we? Saving. All right. Freeze. Hello. What are you doing here? There's a murderer on the loose. Oh, I'm just. Oh my god. The police officer is dead. Oh my god. What do I do? I knew I'd be chased. Give me the old run around. Oh, okay. Wow. Good night. Stop hitting me. I don't like it. I don't know the code to get out. One, two, three. I like that it just pauses everything for me to guess a code. Hey, pal. Any idea what the code is? Stop slapping me! Was it in the death room? Ah, just pause the game for searching. Key to the secret room. Well, now I've got to do all this while he's chasing me, which isn't great. Can you run around? Yeah, he slapped me again. You the secret room? You're not the secret room. Okay. Okay, okay. Searching. The the starting and stopping of the music is very odd. Picked up a flashlight. Well, is that something I needed? Screwdriver. Ah, oh, okay, I'm dead. Load game. Pumping music again. Dum -pum. Get that ready. I will wait for the murderer to come in. Sidestep, bitch. Run. Open the door. Just got my screwdriver. What can I move forwards? And now he's hitting me again. Why does it sound like he's slapping me? He's got an axe. It's very hard. Pick up the flashlight. I run. Get the screwdriver ready. Cannot just shank him up with this. I 
ventilation shaft unlocking can I climb in I can all right so how long till he busts in here and kills me I do have a flashlight now Oh, it's infrared. Paper. Ah, more diary. In the shadowy alleys of despair, I encountered the first face to bear weight of my pain. It was a chance meeting, a twist of fate that brought me to him. I recognised him not by name, but by the essence of darkness enveloping his being. Enveloping? I don't know which way you're supposed to say it. His eyes widened in terror as recognition dawned on him. Recognition of the storm brewing in my soul, the fear in his gaze, mirrored the terror that had settled in my heart since that fateful day. He begged for mercy, pleaded for his life, as if life had ever shown mercy to me. I revelled in the symphony of his hopelessness, in the rising intensity of pleas falling on deaf ears. We would have been deaf to my cries, and now it was time for him to experience the same silence. The taste of power was intoxicating. With each tremor in his voice, with each tear staining his face, I felt a semblance of control returning to me. It was a sick satisfaction, a bittersweet melody harmonising with the echoes of my anguish. His pain became a cathartic relief for the torment that had been haunting me for too long. The blade in my hand, an extension of my wrath. Danced with precision, the crimson strokes painted a canvas of retaliation, a masterpiece born from the palette of my suffering. As life drained from his eyes, I saw a reflection of my own loss. It was a macabre, macabre? I can't, again, I don't know how to pronounce it. Celebration! <laughs> a dance of shadows in the absence of light. In that moment, I felt a strange sense of satisfaction, a perverted joy mingling with the echoes of his final breath. The world would never comprehend the depths of my agony. He became a vessel, a vessel that bore the weight of my grief and allowed me to taste the power I had lost. His death was not just his own, it was a ritual, a communion with the darkness that had claimed my soul. As I left behind his lifeless form, I knew the journey had only just begun. The symphony of vengeance had played on its first notes, and each subsequent chord would be struck with the same ferocity that had struck me. Cool. I mean, this looks like a code, but it's not the right code. This is it's triangle, square, circle, diamond, heart, and that doesn't mean anything to me. Should it? Is this light supposed to be showing something to me? Can't open any of the lockers. Is it going to be a code written somewhere on the walls in there and I need to run around and find it with this torch? I'm going to cheat and I'm going to make a note of this. Triangle. Square. Circle. Diamond. Heart. I guess I'm going to look at walls. Fun for the whole family. Right. Jesus, you run me straight away. Triangle is four. Square is eight. Square is eight. Onwards. Diamond is five. Piss off. Circles three. Diamond is five. 
circle is three. Technically, I could just guess the last one now. Seven. Having a notepad is very handy. Four, eight, three, five, seven. Well, I didn't know it was going to... I didn't know it was going to open that clip that, that slowly. Let's find out. Four, eight, three, five, seven. And we're giving the old run around again. Out we go. Is he still going to be chasing me? Do I just run? Yeah, still chasing me. Oh, run then, you knob. Somebody help. Being chased by a very angry man with an axe. Police car. There's a lot. Are you taking the piss? There's something in this maze I need to find. So I'm actually in a maze now, and I'm being chased by a man with an axe. What's that? Bolt cutters, perfect. Oh my god, I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Stop slapping me! Now I just need to try and remember how to get back. God knows if that was correct, but we'll find out. Not correct! You should get your health back if he doesn't hit you for a while, that's, that's quite handy. Get the uh, them ready. Oh no, I need to be at the lock when I use it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Hello, we're here. Eh. Eh. Is he still behind me? I don't know. But am I running past the police car then? Get in there, get on the radio. Ask for help. Someone's just been murdered. Horrendous face. Just putting that out there. Mask, whatever it is. So that was the wanted man's house. I very much enjoyed the game. The puzzles were good. I didn't like that I was being chased for 90% of it. But it, it was fairly easy to run away from him, so... Yeah, the story seemed like it was going to be quite basic to start with, but they added a bit of twist, a bit of a turn. Enjoyed it very much. Hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, feel free to leave it a like, maybe a subscribe. It's completely up to you, and as always, I'll see you later.